I kneel down just to beg her. Please don't go. I give you everything. But yes, she left this house. See, let me tell you something. And you're here begging me to come back. Sir. Okay, sir. If she repeat the same thing again, there won't be a room in this house anymore. Yeah, no, she stopped me for closed in. What's up, guys? It's your girl Julie, and I'm here today with Bisola. Okay, I'm here today with Bisola. Bisola here is my auntie's friend, though. <laughs> so my auntie called me and said, Julie. <laughs> in a minute, so I'm a query on you, man. You understand? You're like, this thing you normally do for others, this thing you do for others, please do it for my friend. My friend is actually passing through similar thing. Understand? So I'm here today with Bisola. Understand? So Bisola here, please, can you just tell them what you what you told me that happened to you? All right. Thank you, Bisola. Like I said earlier, let's see, eh? You people need to beg my husband on my behalf. I've not been a good wife to him at all, even to his family. Fine, when we started dating then, he promised not to bring any of his family. But you know how economy is now these days? He brought one of his brothers home. And mm. since since the guy came in, I, I turned myself to another thing entirely. And this is the main reason why I left the marriage because I can't cope with him again with his families. Okay. And since then, my own parents and his own parents have been trying to sort these things out. But I know I made a wrong mistake for leaving the marriage. I know, but he's a good man. He's a good man. But now I want you guys to beg him on my behalf. It's too quiet, you know. It's too quiet for my likeness. It's too quiet. Even when I... Ah, you need to see, you need to see the way I do frustrate him and his brother. At least, I'm a Yoruba girl. You know how Yoruba behaves now. But it's too quiet. I don't want. It's too quiet. That's why I left him. That's why I left him. That's I want cool. to. Yes, I want to. I'm a bad person. I want to people to beg. Please. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. You know this this particular thing you are actually facing now is see everybody is even praying for quiet man person way people no could even they hear noise like me actually me i need a quiet man like i'm quiet i don't need problem you got the thing all that i understand you, understand. Can't, you can't cope with him you can't wow. you can't cope with him but i promise if you people beg on my behalf i won't misbehave again you, i won't okay. abuse i won't are nag you, are you going to promise the home, the house that you're not going to nag, you're not going to uh, um, be rude to him if he actually accepts you? Because I've not seen this man. You only say he's quiet. So I want to know if he accepts you, if I'm going to follow you, if I'm going to please on your behalf, what am I going to say this man? That you're not going to be uh, you're, not, you're not going to be nagging, you're not going to be rude again. Yes. Yes. And I'll clean the house what I do before. But since the guy came in, I stopped everything. I stop. I only face my own life. But you know, is the guy still in the house or he has gone? I don't know. I don't know. Even if the guy is still around, I don't mind staying with them. <sighs> wait, wait. I want to know something. Is it the man that drag drag you out, no, or no, you're the one that? No, I move you, out. You move out on your own. Yes. Have you tried to push yourself in? Maybe you come back and the man refuses. You know the arrogance now. You know. I understand. Yeah. But I know you just promised me one thing that if the man accepts you, hope you're not going to do all those things. I won't, I won't, I promise. <sighs> okay, guys, let we just need to go to the man's place, understand? Because uh, we've called, you sure you call someone, they say the man is around. Yes. So, I me, mean, I don't even need to call anybody, I didn't contact anybody. So, they've already, someone in the compound have already opened the gate, say that we should come to so time that you open the gate. So, I me, mean, then we'll go to close to the place, to the estate, we'll just call the person so that you can open gate for because he said the man is around so that we can try our best. We can try our best. You know, I'm not going to promise you, but I'm actually I will try my best because you didn't try, okay? Okay, guys, stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I actually show you in the gate when Terry was open the gate for you. I don't want you to step your feet into my house. So, what do you want? 
I called him to let us in. We came to see him. For what? Just to speak in our Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, we didn't come for any fight or correct. We actually had to make peace and make amendments, understand? So we are sorry for budging in without your notice. Wait, wait. You came without to beg, right? Mm. For what? Mm? For what? Sir, she's she's your wife, right? Sorry. She was a slave from Godishan. Yes. Did you? Yes. No, she did. And I don't understand Yoruba. If he's explaining, she explained everything to me. She told me she was rude. Okay. She was, um, she do nag, okay. as in a whole lot of things. She told me she was not good to you. Calm down, calm but the main thing here, she has realized her mistake. Calm down, calm down. Okay, sir. I see this girl here. No, sir. It's your wife. Just listen to me. Okay, you sir. see her here. Yes, sir. I loved her. I give her everything she wants. I was begging her when she was leaving this house. I knelt down to beg her. Don't go. Did I not? Yes. I kneeled down just to beg her. Please don't go. I give you everything. But yes, she left this house. See, let me tell you something. Even though you invited my mom to come beg me today, hmm? I will not listen to you. Oh, sir, sir, please. I wasn't the one that pushed her out. She left on her own. She told me that. So let me tell you something. Eh? Even when I met her in my auntie's place, she was crying seriously. The main thing here is, she didn't do good though, she didn't try, like I know. But the main thing she has realized her mistake and want to come back to her husband's house. I'm telling you, she, she, she didn't do... I don't know your name. I know. I don't know your name, I don't know you. But what she did to me, I can't just yes, what erase she did. that from my mind and heart now. Oh, fear the family for you, your second. Right? You left your matrimonial son. Because of what? Okay, you have a reason to go where or to see another man, right? No, no. So what man? Did you go to see another man? No, no, no. Did you go to see another man? Why will I do so? I can't. I can't. Though, though, we both had an agreement not to bring in any of our members, our family members. <gasps> Wish he did. Oh, okay. No, I understand. Just because we had a visitor. You came to visit just for a few days. You left your matrimonial And I got to a month. Is he a guy or...? Just a guy. Okay. okay. Yeah, I come to a month. I'll go to an agreement not to... Sir. You know? Sir, I know. See, let's not bring the parts. Let's just not bring the parts, eh? Let's forget about what happened at the first Even party. the guy you're talking about has left this house for the past three days. Sir, please, the main thing is now. Let's just forget about the past. Let's let the past be at the past. See, what the main thing here now is, sir, please, we are here. She has right, uh, realized her mistake. She's remorsefully begging to come back, sir. And it's not, I, I believe, she told me that she will not do those things. She told me she do not shout and she's rude to you. Like, the way she explained to me, she said you're a good man. That you're a very quiet man. Which I've seen now. Even though I'm going to accept this woman back into my house okay, sir. and into my life, mm -hmm. then you have to vow for her. On, on what, sir? That she will never try that again. Ha, if will she you does, try it? No, no, I can't. No, sir, she will not try Will you I try can't. it? I can't. Are you going to promise me that I'm, you're I'm not going to? Because she has told me. Like, you're I not going can't. to do it again. No, I can't. No shouting, no nagging. No, I can't. I thought I lost my mind. Sir, please. See, she, have, see, she will not repeat it again. Touch me. Sir, please, she will not do it again, okay? But why would you leave your husband's house now? No, that lady, they, they, they pursue other lady come off her house, but this one, nobody pursue you, you run, come out. I mean, sister, not do like this. You won't, do, you won't leave the house, me, another woman, come inside. Eh? If it's other man now, to the enter like this, you go see another woman. I beg, sir. She, she, sir, see, as you see, I mean, she realized her mistake. And she, she promised me that she will not do it again. Please, please, sir. Hmm? Sir, break. Yeah, be cool. Let's get up today. Please, sir. Please. Sir, look this way now, please. Okay, do you know what happened? See, you're even crying. It just shows that you really love her. Please, sir, please. Please. Oh, oh my God. Oh, why? So, you. Oh, God. I give you everything. Why? 
Oh God, for the first time I did this, but who's cutting onions? Cut. But I beg, I need a good man. I need a good man in this life. But I'm going to put this out there. Hmm? Even in the Bible, they said, woman, woman, respect your husband. Husband, love your wife. So if you're any woman out there and you're not, you're not respecting your husband, please change your way today. If it's anything that the man is not doing well, please, you can, people can talk it out. Please, respect your man. Please, man, I beg. Our husband, Muna, they love our wife. Muna, our husband, Muna, love us so. Why our wife? Muna respect us. Man needs respect. Man no need money. He no need anything. Respect both in the bed, outside, everywhere. Respect the man. Okay? You see your girl Julie. See you on my next video because today I'm very, very happy. Ah, you know, girl, it's more about boss champagne. Oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, now.